What's going on guys, it's Jake back at again here uh, for another beer review for your Friday evening. So, um, I, I've had this beer one time. Um, I tried it Wednesday. I've kind of been all over the place this week, so I don't I don't think I did a, a review Wednesday for this beer at all. Um, I've just been busy, so a lot of stuff going on. But either way, this is Navaja. That's how I pronounce it, just Navaja. My, my buddy Zach said it was Ninja, and I, I had to correct him. But anyways, this is from Half Acre. Um, there was a beer from Half Acre. Uh, gone Away, that's what it was. And I gave that beer a super high rating because that beer was just phenomenal, completely outstanding. Um, so this is from the same people, so I was expecting something pretty good. And I got to say, this beer is, without a doubt, phenomenal um it's 10 percent so and it tastes like it so i'm telling you right now this is a strong beer um the only thing i will say i didn't like is that it says double ipa and i'm someone where i like to to know the percent before i buy it i've always been like that and i didn't know until i got home so i just assumed it was gonna be like you know i don't know eight percent something like that i got home and I was like, oh shit, you know, 10% this is going to be a strong beer, especially because they give you four four pints for uh, 12 bucks. So that's really not that bad of a deal um, for four uh, four pints, especially, you know, double, I, double IPA. But um, before we test this out, let me see what some other people said. There's not a whole lot of reviews for this beer, so there's not going to be a lot of information. Um... Kind of orange beer, fluffy white head, aroma is dank with fruits like mango, papaya, some citrus, lightly sweet, but very bitter, even up front, um, very bitter finish, tasteful full of papaya, melon, pith, and pine, uh, pretty tasty beer that hides the alcohol that I disagree with. And this just came in, so this is not expired beer. Just came in. Dense biscuit, maltiness, strong orange zest, a lot of a lot of pine, a lot of grapefruit. Um, let's see if we can get anything different. Okay, some caramel finishing. Okay. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much all you're gonna get out of this beer on the way, you know. And I got this today, about an hour ago, so I'm excited to drink out of it. But this. Now, for you guys who are just getting into craft beer, who um, just aren't fans of it, or, you know, you're just interested, this is by far the best type of glass for beer, especially for craft beer. If you're kind of sort of like me, you like that fancy style, this is the way to go. This is the way to go. Yeah, you can drink it out of a wine glass, but there's nothing like this. And I know it sounds really lame, but a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. Nothing like this. Two dollars at Benny's. If you're going to go get some beer, get one of these. Absolutely. Um, I have bad luck. Mine break all the time. So, I haven't had one of these for a while, so I'm very happy that I got this. But let's get a, a whiff of this and I'll let you guys know how it is. Ooh. Oh, that is strong throwing off the bat. Ooh. It smells amazing though. Um, a lot of citrus, the most citrus. Citrus, a little lemon, a little pine, a, a mouthful, just a big whopping amount of bitterness. Um, uh, hoppy, very hoppy, very bitter. I kind of get a caramel, you know, kind of like a caramel malt backbone. Not much, though. Not much, especially for this type of beer. You don't need that. I'm getting a little bit of the mango. Not papaya, but mango. Maybe a little hint of pineapple. But, you know, the truth is when you are when you have a beer that has these type of notes, it basically, they all are in one group. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, this smells amazing so far. So let's get a taste, guys. Salute. Hope you guys have a, a safe, a safe, relaxing, enjoyable weekend.
for sure. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Whew, that's good. This is a good beer for me because I drink my beer too fast. This is a beer you can't drink fast at all. Wow. I'm going to enjoy this tonight for sure. Definitely. Wow. Very complex. A whole, like I said, I know it's a whole group, but a whole bunch of just different, you know, notes at one time. Very, very bitter. So for the tasting, first off, I can tell my eyes, it's very bitter. It's good, though. I mean, I'm going to guess this is at, like, 80 to 90 IBUs, maybe. Um, if you guys don't know what that means, that's just the, the level of bitterness, the international, like, bitter units, whatever that was called. So, yeah, that's, like, 80, 90 IBUs. Very bitter, very crisp, you know. Very crisp beer. But in taste, I am getting orange, the citrus of the most, which I expected. Um, a lot of piney, no, I wouldn't say grapefruit, a lot of pine, pine cone, you know, very, very, very piney, which I like piney beer. I think all, um, all IPAs in general should have some pine to it. It just makes the beer outstanding. It really does. Um, let's see. I'm getting some, some floral notes too, you know. I didn't get that in the smell, but I'm getting that, I'm getting that in this taste. Um, it's like that fresh cut grass, but like not bad, you know. I mean, not literally like grass, but you know, on a nice summer day, I don't have a I don't have a yard I gotta do anymore. But when I like when I live in my parents' house, when you're when you're done mowing the lawn, and you have one of those you know outdoor days, and you're just doing the yard, doing the lawn, doing all that stuff, you know the smell of the grass and the wilderness, not wilderness, <laughs> uh, just the trees and nature, and you know that kind of good smell. You kind of get that taste in here. That's what I mean by grassy. And uh, I know there are going to be some new people who don't really know a lot about beer. So I'm happy to definitely help you. Not literally grass, but just, it, to me, it, it goes with the pine, if you know what I'm talking about. Very good. It makes it smooth, you know. It makes it makes the alcohol percentage not as strong. Um, and that is one thing I do get with this beer. It tastes like a 10% beer. It really does. But it doesn't taste bad. It's not too strong at all. Um, when I drank these on Wednesday, I probably drank like three of them within an hour and a half. You know, something like that. Which is definitely too fast. I, I regretted it later. Uh, I, had a, I had a huge headache, huge migraine. But... Yeah, I mean, not too, not too strong. Um, you're going to enjoy this beer. This is a beer you're going to enjoy, for fact. I don't really get the, the breadcrumbs, the yeast in this beer. Not at all. Um, I remember thinking to myself Wednesday when I took a sip, I was like, this beer is the opposite of, like, a creamy beer, you know? Um, it's not really rich. It feels... What's a good way to put it? It feels thin when you're drinking this beer. It feels thin. Um, thin, bitter, and strong. I mean, that really, that really basically says it all about this beer. I, I taste a little, a little bit of mango. Um, not a whole lot. Yeah, and the smell, and the smell, you can definitely, definitely get the mango. Big waft of it. But um, tasting is pretty, pretty subtle, you know. Goes, goes, goes down quick, quick and easy. Man, I'm not really getting a whole bunch um, from this beer. 
I, I do want to make a prediction, though. Or a guess, I guess I would say. Um, I, I do think this has some mosaic hops in it. Because of the smell. I know that there are other hops that do this, but... When you have, and I know I've said this in the last probably five videos, so sorry guys, but it's true. When you have that astringent, strong, um, cat pee type of odor to your beer, a lot of times it's made with mosaic hops. Like I've said a million times, the Lizard King is just the poster child beer for that. If you want a beer that is straight up just, I mean, it's amazing. But the smell really throws it off. Like, you smell it, and it's sour as hell. But it's not a sour beer. Not a sour ale at all. But, um, but this has it, this has that the astringent to it. So, I want to say this is made with mosaic hops, but I'm not sure. And, um, just because I completely forgot, you know, I'm not going to try to pull it off smooth. I fucked up. I, oh, I didn't know this half acre. You know, I always read out where, where these guys are from. They're out of Chicago, people. They're from here. I did not know that. This is a local brewery. And just um, in case you guys have trouble finding the beer, check that owl half acre right there. And then this is the front. It's, um, I'm a metal person, so I know not a lot of people know about Job for a Cowboy. But if you've listened to Job for a Cowboy, right there right there people oh and hope you guys like this i got my my new ring today i got my jewelry speaking of that um i do want to thank you guys i'm saying i'm grateful and i thank you um and i thank you ivan as well for uh sharing my video the spiritual video i made i really want to make more of those i kind of was nervous i really didn't know how to go about that um and i know that i didn't talk a lot you know about much stuff like, I basically spoke for 45 minutes, and I only really said, you know, 10 minutes worth of some stuff, probably. Um, I mean, yeah, it was important, but the main messages I wanted to get across, I probably could have done it in a shorter time. But when it's your first video, you don't know what the hell you're doing. So, I want to I wanna thank Ivan. Um, I just wanted to get across the things that would be easiest to start out with, basically what I see the main majority of people talking about. I think that's just, that's a great place to start, you know, great impact. But, um, yeah, so today, I got, and I'll show you guys. First, I got my ring, which one day I might go into detail. I know you can't see it. It says A-G-L-A, -A, and if you're into, um, alchemy or any esoteric, you know, beliefs, you're, you're gonna have some familiarity with this. Um, but yeah, I mean, this basically just has, uh, talis, you know, talismans, the, um, the different seals of Solomon on it. A big thing is that a lot of people, like I said, that's why I want to connect to this video, um, or the video from the other day, because a lot of people think that there's a lot of knowledge that, um, is bad. And the truth is it's not. It's just, it was, it's, it's been used in a wrong way. You know, so like anyone who has power or the potential, excuse me, the potential, they have the potential to do good or they have the potential to do bad. It's all up to them. So it all depends on how you use it, you know. Um, and then secondly, I should probably keep these videos separate, the spiritual and the beard, completely different. But it's my channel. What are you going to do about it? But anyways, um, all you can do is unsubscribe. But anyways. This is another one that I got today, and this is actually, um, I got the fourth and the sixth pentacles of Solomon, here you go, both sides, um, I mean, obviously, just like with all jewelry and any other thing, you know, the power that you got, the spirituality, everything, everything's inside, I know it's just jewelry. It's just, you know, it's a way to to help me remember who I am sometimes, you know. I mean, it's not like the powers and all this shit. I understand that. I don't have to be wearing the stuff. But one, it represents what I believe in, um, the greater good and the greater secret knowledge for all people to know because we're all positive spiritual beings. Um, 
I don't know. It's just, uh, I enjoy it. It helps me out, you know. It really does. But anyways, guys, that is my review. Um, for a rating, I am going to give this beer. This is a really fantastic beer, so I think I'm going to give it an 8, to be honest with you guys. I think I'm going to give this beer an 8 out of 10. Fantastic beer. Um, to sum it all up, Navaja, N-A-V-A-J-A, Navaja, by Half Acre, Chicago, Illinois. Um, you get four pints for about $12, not a bad deal. I got mine at, at Benny's, I don't know where you guys go. I got mine at Benny's, about 12 bucks. You're going to get a 10% beer that is outstanding, that has citrus, a little bit of lemon, um, a lot of bitters to it, some mango, um, some hops. Very, very strong beer. This is not a beer for everybody. So if you're a diehard IPA fan, and um, especially if you're like me and you like higher percent beers, definitely go get this beer. Amazing beer. Very, very good. I highly recommend it. Um, and, yeah, that is it. Only other thing is I hope you guys have a good night and that I will talk to you guys another day. Um, thank you for watching my videos. I never say it, so I don't give a shit right now. If you haven't, hit the like button, hit the subscribe. It would do me some good. Thank you. Um, and just have a good weekend. I love y'all. Stay safe. I'll talk to you later. This is Jake. Out.